First, the site is excavated and a four inch layer of gravel is placed to facilitate drainage underneath the slab and to act as a capillary break. It also allows the removal of radon from beneath the slab if radon is present. Extruded polystyrene insulation is placed on the edges and top of the gravel bed, followed by a six mil polyethylene vapor retarder. Note that the edges should extend out and beyond where the edge of the grade beam will be. Then rebar is placed according to local code. Formwork is placed and the slab and grade beam are poured with anchor bolts placed according to local code. The vapor retarder is turned up and sealed to the grade beam. It should reach grade level or above. Extruded polystyrene is placed over the vapor retarder around the exterior of the slab. Optionally, extruded foam can be placed extending out from the slab edge to create a frost protected shallow footing. A board or coating is applied to protect the exterior insulation. This should extend at least 6 inches below the soil surface. The exterior trench should be backfilled with low permeability soil and graded to drain water away from the foundation. Sill seal is placed at the edge of the slab, followed by the termite shield and another layer of sill seal. The wood stud walls are built and flashing is placed at the bottom of the sheathing. A weather barrier is installed overlapping the flashing and extruded polystyrene insulation is placed over that. Furring strips are attached through the exterior insulation back to the wall studs. These provide a ventilation cavity for the exterior siding. Lastly, the exterior siding is applied to the furring strips.